Hello, third grade. Um, so we are here again doing some grammar together. And um, once again, I am on Epic. This is um, Epic has this entire series of grammar books, which is really great if you want to review some of your grammar skills. Um, and it is awesome that they have the whole series here, which is really great. And it's perfect for what we're doing right now. Um, so what we're going to talk about is contractions. So our um, book is I'm and won't, there and don't, what's a contraction? So um, here we can see a contraction two or sometimes three words combined into one word using an apostrophe. So we are going to read this book and then we'll chat a little bit about um, what a contraction is. So let's make this bigger. Contractions take a couple words, or sometimes even three, and shrink them into only one, as in, she's drinking tea. She's is the contraction, and it shortens up she is. It takes two words and makes them one, as in, that's mine and his. As punctuation goes, contractions always feature these. They take the place of letters, and they're called apostrophes. See how it's bumping that I out of the way? Take a phrase like does not. A contraction makes it doesn't. Try another. Was not. You can shorten it to wasn't. Apostrophes help link the words and replace at least one letter. As in, I'm very proud that I've helped make this lovely sweater. Oftentimes, contractions join another word to not, like shouldn't it be colder now and can't I take your spot? I don't think this shoe is mine. Isn't it absurd? All these turn a two-word phrase into a single word. So there, will, she's, I'd, can't, couldn't, I'll, they all turn a two-word phrase into one single word. Other times contractions shorten are or is or am, as in I'm sure you're hungry and he's cooking up some ham. Now and then contractions shorten not just two, but three words, for example. I'd have thought this was the zoo. So I would have thought this was the zoo. I'd have thought this was the zoo. Would, when it's contracted, is reduced to just a D in words like I'd and she'd, as well as you'd, to just name three. Will can come in handy as a future tense contraction. Shrink she will, right down to she'll, it's smaller by a fraction. Sometimes you'll find have and had have been abbreviated. Like here, I've got a puppy, and I'd better get him crated. Aren't contractions useful words in speech and writing don't? Have any fear in using them? I'm guessing that you won't. So, what's a contraction? Do you know? So, um, we already did learn this concept. Um, it was a couple of months ago, we did talk about contractions. And if you remembered, we talked about um, using the apostrophe at the appropriate, the appropriate place. Um, and we talked about how often it replaces a vowel, the apostrophe replaces the vowel, but not always, um, but most of the time that's what it replaces. Um, for example, has not, you take out the O, you put in an apostrophe. Um, isn't, is not, you take out the O, you put in the apostrophe. Um, she will, you take out the W-I and put in the apostrophe. Um, so we talked about how you can try to figure out where the apostrophe should go. And we talked about this, if you remember, our spelling words were all contractions a couple of units ago. So um, that is you know, this is review and it is something that you've already gotten to talk with me about. But um, I am challenging you to try to find at least five contractions in a book that you're reading. Um, it shouldn't be, you know, 
super hard to find, honestly, because there are contractions. We use contractions a lot, especially when someone is talking. If you are writing it down, you might be more formal and say you are going to go to the store. However, if I'm talking, I'm going to say you're going to the store. I'm going to go with you. Instead of you are going to the store, I am going with you. Um, however, sometimes in literature, you see more proper, but most of the time, especially in dialogue, you will see contractions being used. So my challenge is to find at least five contractions and then also write down the word that um, the words that the contraction is combining. So for example, if your contraction was she'll, you would write down she'll equals she will. Um, so as always, you can write the answers down in a Google comment on this assignment. You can do it in Remind Text. You can do it in a Google Doc, um, however works for you. And I look forward to seeing your contractions and seeing you tomorrow for some more grammar. Bye, third grade.